So, my friends, welcome here to another adventure. If you love punk music, I am a punk rocker from Kills Rock Band. Uh, welcome here, but even if you are not familiar with punk, welcome here. Um, top six record, top six record you can't miss from La Guagon. I mean, top five records. The five records, for many reasons, you can't miss from this band from California. But with uh, a special mention. So we start with a special mention. Number six. You bet. Which one is number six in your opinion? Take a look here. So my friends, did you get this one? Of course, da, the first Lagwagon record. A really powerful record, a strong record for the, uh, from their old era. You can't miss this one. This is a great one. This is a masterpiece and this is only my number six because uh, in my personal opinion, there are some records you really can't miss way better than this one, more various, but this one stay uh, here in my special mention of their best record. Now I will shift immediately in my number five. You bet! Which one is my number five you can't miss from Lug Wagon? Three, two, one. So my friends, did you get this one? Oh, of course. Let's talk about leftovers. All the leftovers from the first five albums. And yeah, it's incredible that songs previous, previously are released, covers and many other stuff like that uh, are so good in this one. But really, this one is a fantastic record, never boring. Uh, reach of music, many many tracks, more than uh, 24 tracks and that's really really a great 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 experience with the lag wagon that uh, make you feel a little bit uh, and tasting all the eras of lag wagon of the first five records so as you can see also cool cover uh, I suggest this one maybe a forgotten record by many fans but for me it's really really good now we shift immediately in the number fourth in the podium you bet which one three two one you discover now Oh, this is a favorite of many, many fans. So you are really uh, disappointed a bit that I am only uh, ranking this one as the fourth in my suggestions and recommendations. But this is really not a favorite of mine. Uh, I do love more other records, and this one stay here because is the record that maybe. Mm, made great like wagon you know what i mean in the golden years of punk 1995 1994 1996 so that was the era when this record was released so many cool tracks a lot of energy a lot of variations inside a lot of um stuff very 14 songs really 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 cool so uh this one is a beloved record from the fans and it deserves to stay in the top five more suggested Lagwagon records. Please listen once in your lifetime. And now 
my podium, number three of my recommendation. Which one? Uh, I think you guessed this one. Really, I think you guessed this one. Tricky one now. Where are you guessing this one, my friends? Blaze! Blaze record! 2003 record. A beloved one. Maybe my favorite record from Lugwagon. But I don't know. Uh, I, I'm ranking this one only the third because the first two records for me are uh, maybe the shortest one and the best one of the new era. And oh, I, I, oh, no spoiler, no spoiler, no spoiler for the first two positions. So, this one stay here only because the fans doesn't, doesn't uh, receive this one, uh, doesn't receive this record uh, with so much enthusiasm, you know what I mean? But this one is a great record, really. Also, for metal heads, this one is good. Uh, not only happy vibes, but also sad vibes, a lot of transitions, change of rhythms. This is insane because of the bass lines, because of the stop and go, because of the drumming, and everything is really cool. So, Lugwagon, Blaze, also for the lyrics, the best one, one of the best records from Lugwagon. So, now number two in my podium. Which one? Which one is your favorite record from Lugwagon? Which one is your number two? Now you will discover mine in my recommendations for you. Three, two, one, go! So definitely, my friends, this record here from the early 90s, their second record, is their best record. Hands down, this is their best record. But I'm ranking, in my recommendations, only number two because there is a record on my heart that is the 1999 record um, that you will discover in a minute, in a while. I'm not spoiling this one. Uh, that for me stay higher. I mean, uh, the record that stay in the first position of this one is a record that uh, I am always ready to listen from start to finish many, many times in a day. But this one is a fantastic record. It's their best work because of the creativity, of the progression in a uh, punk record is incredible because of the guitar work, the bass job in this one, uh, all the ideas so peculiar inside here. This is a great one. You can't live without listening one time in your lifetime. Lag wagon trashed, and lag wagon trashed. Look also at the cover. Very 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 uh, ironic, isn't it? Hilarious because they are pulling themselves away in the garbage, as you can see in the trash. So, uh, that's really self-ironic, uh, you know what I mean, self-hilarious. And I love their irony, I love their uh, spirit. So, a great one, Light Wagon from um, their second album, studio album, Fat Records, Fat Records, with Fat Mike producing this one, Fat Mike from no effects. So now my number one. You bet now. Three, two, one, go.
So at this point, I really think you go to this one. Let's talk about Feelings 1999 record. This record is so overwhelming. The melodies are so magic. This is um, another level in the melodies, in the harmonies of the voice and the guitars. And this record is overwhelming also because uh, this one has a very peculiar production and sound that I love a lot. A very short record, 24, 25 minutes of music here uh, for a very, 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 very quick as a cat record. But this record, you can listen to this record uh, in perpetuity. I don't know, you know what I mean? In continuation, all day long. This is a really fantastic record, and this is the record of my heart from Le Guegon. So this is my first recommendation, first recommendation, first suggestion. Listen to Let's Talk About Feelings once in your lifetime, my friends. Please do it. So, my friends, those were my recommendation of Le Guegon discography, the best five records I'm recommending to you with a special guess of one, but uh, another special mention, another guess that deserves a lot is Double Platinum Record. This record there is really a criminal underrated record with a very, very, very experimental sound, um, very abrasive on the guitar, and I suggest to recommend also this one. See ya next time, my friends. Ciao. Uh, many other records I can recommend from Le Guegon. For example, La Hang, another great one with not every song is perfection, but a lot of songs are very good. I am a bit nostalgic of the old era of La Guegon, sincerely. This is the band, this is the new bass player, Raposo, but I'm still missing. Uh, the first bass player, Jess Buglione, Baglioni in English, but Buglione is the surname, Italian surname. And Dave is an excellent drummer, but Derek Plard was another excellent, great drummer that passed away because of suicide. And so, of course, um, also Resolve record from Black Wagon, where he is mentioned, and Raider records, are all recommended from this band, but I prefer the, old, the older stuff more. See you next time, my friends. Thank you for watching. And now, goodbye with this one. Ciao! The kids are on.